Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Because it is not every day you see a super excited Hanifa Adam, I'm sure you already know how I feel about today's meal. It is one of those meals that just make you Yoruba and proud. Because while other tribes have their signature dishes, they do not have the meal we are making today. This meal, although from a Yoruba background, it is widely enjoyed by all that has been blessed with its taste, as I'm sure our guests will be too. It is a perfect meal for our tagline, everyone is welcome. Today, we'll be making seafood abula, made with love and maggi. I am sure my guests can't wait to join us. Join me as I welcome Amina. She is a content creator and a fashion designer. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Wa alaikum salam. It's so good to see you. Thank you. You look for beautiful and amazing. Me. So are you. <laughs> Thank you. MashaAllah. I'm, I'm sure you are really excited for today. Yeah, we are I'm going to be making excited. our amala, you know, as your baby. Amala and what? Are we making our abula? Okay, we do, obviously. Yeah, yeah, okay. the seafood. And we are going to go on a short break now and then introduce you to the rest of the ingredients. Finish work for your cooking with Maggi Chicken. No rival. Maggi Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggi Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. So let's get right into it. I'm going to introduce our viewers to the ingredients. We are going to use peeled beans for digbegiri. We've already washed it and peeled the skin off it. Ground crayfish, prawns, any size that you want. These are jumbo prawns crabs, maggi chicken cubes, blended tomato and peppers, onions diced, ewedu, maggi crayfish, calamari, iru, and fish. You can use any fish of your choice. I'm going to start with digbegiri, right? Because this is going to take a longer time to make. If you have a pressure cooker or something that will make it faster, you can do that. We are going to just pour the already peeled, it's already washed, so we are safe. I'm just going to leave that to boil. When it has become really soft, I will show you through the rest of the process of making the bakery. I'm going to add the seafood into a big bowl. We just put everything together. Whoa. The prawns and the fish as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to use Maggi crayfish to marinate the seafood. I think it's just, peel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> while, while you're doing that, you just put it inside it for me. <laughs> we can do I'm it here together. To help. Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to be boiling the um, pepper just for it to cook while we are marinating the fish. We're going to start making the ewedu. Do you start cooking your ewedu by putting them in boiling water or you bring it to boil like this as well? I boil the water first. Oh, you boil the water first. Yes. You can use any method for it. You can bring it to boil, you can boil the water first. I'm going to add iru to it. So I'm just going to bring it to boil. Everything is cooking. We are going to go on a short break now. We are going to add the uh, marinating seafood into the stew and then everything is going to cook together. Okay. Thank you so much for staying with us. We'll be right back. Yes. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Our food has been cooking for a while now. I'm going to add um, onions to the beans to soften it and to just add flavor to it as well. The Tomato blend has been cooking as well, and I'm going to add uh, seafood to it. Do you prefer using palm oil for your soup or um, vegetable oil? I use palm oil. Palm oil, okay. Yes. I, I mean, I think that growing up, that's actually one of the most that popular. That almost every mother's use. use. So we are going to add palm oil to the omyo bear as well, you know, to boil everything together. Mm. 
Now that I've added the palm oil into my stew, I'm going to put in two Maggi chicken cubes. We also have the tablet option for Maggi chicken. You know, it's the, the flat one. It has the Maggi chicken is my grandma's favorite. That's what I grew up using. Oh, Maggi chicken eh, all yes. the time. Yeah, that's amazing. It's in, it's in the world. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, they Because tab. it's Maggi alaku kokpelebe. Maggi alaku kokpelebe. Uh, yeah, that it. one has two cubes inside already. So yes. if you want just one cube, you use the smaller no, one. But if okay. you are using two cubes for your Maggi, I like to my That's amazing. Let me check. Oh, oh. yeah, it is. Oh, it's Sora. Which one do you prefer to use for this too? Do you want to use Maggi crayfish or we should use Maggi chicken? I'll use Maggi chicken. Maggi, okay. My grandma's favorite. Right. Now that our meal is ready, like, you know, ready for the next stage, um, the begiri is cooked. You can see how the onions have worked. It's magic. It's like wow. really, so exactly. You can add more water as it's cooking just so that it will be soft and mushy and just be ready to blend. I'm going to turn that off now. We're going to let it cool down before blending it. And the, ob oh. Wow. Ob yeah, obe too is ready. That looks yummy. As you can see the obe, it should have more proteins in your meal so that the amala won't be too much and you can have like a light meal for iftar so that you won't be too heavy. And, and so that you can pray your talawi. Uh, exactly. <laughs> there is a trick I just recently learned. Let me get um, a wooden spoon. Instead of like pouring it into the boiling water, then you're mixing it, mixing it, mixing it up. We are going to just, it's like making semo. semo. I'm just going to mix it with cold water first. So that, that way, it's like easier to make. I, I mean, can't see, I can't wait to see what it turns out it, to It's like. going to, yeah, I'm going to like just mix it up. Thank you. Just make a very thick paste. And then we're going to go on a break, you know, while I'm mixing it up so that we'll have a thick paste. And I will come back, we'll show you the last step of making the amalai. Thank you so much, and we'll be right back. And oh, thank here you. Here you have your blended. Yeah, blended. it's blend. Thank you, thank you. So um, since we've blended our beggary, and I'm just going to finish it up on um, the stove. Ah, it looks really smooth. That's okay. So now I'm going to add palm oil. I'm going to add crayfish. Nope. And two Maggi chicken cubes. Aside Amala, what else do you eat beggar with? Ah, tuo. I oh, like right. tuo. Yeah, I like I tuo. tuo as well. <laughs> We're just going to cook it a little bit. Now, when the ewe do cool down as well, we already blended it. And we are going to add the Maggi cube star. Just one cube is sufficient. Then depending on the quantity of the food that you are making. If the ewe do is still warm, you can just mix it together. You don't need to add heat. Just mix it together. But I'm just also going to cook it for like 30 seconds again, like just to warm it up. Yeah. So I'm going to turn off the heat for the bakery now because it's, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's done, it's done. We are, we are done with that. Let me just stir it together. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's done. Here we did too. We've heated it up and it's done. I'm just going to turn off the heat. Our stew too is ready. The holy trifecta, we are done. It's now time for our amala. Yes, we've, I mean, this is the star of the show. The master of the meal. <laughs> I know. Okay, our water has boiled. While, um, because this will take a while, a little bit, because we are going to wait for it to cook. Then I'll, keep, I'll immediately start stirring. 
And while I'm doing this, you know, mixing it all up together, I have a question for you, which okay. our viewers at home can benefit from too. Don't be scared. It's, it's. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Eid that we celebrate after the end of Ramadan, you know, after 29 or 30 days of fasting, what's that Eid called? So that's what you want to ask me. <laughs> I know. I thought you were going to I th ask I me thought something it was <laughs> very hard. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to Is be it easy. It's Fitri now. Yes, it's Idil Fitri. Okay. We celebrate Idil Fitri after fasting for all the days of Ramadan to celebrate the resilience, to celebrate our hard work and the good deeds we've, um, you know, gotten during the Ramadan. And may Allah accept it from us, our fasting. And then <laughs> quite a work. Yeah, you, you can things, see, exactly. Yeah. So Any way to make Hamala, a better way to make Begiri. Oh, so I'm just going to, oh, sorry. Okay. I'm going to now take it off the heat. And then, you know, just do our. Wow. Yeah. See, it's actually quite so easy. Succulent. Yes, and it's very, I mean, you see. No lump. No, no lumps, Not and it's very much. easy as well. So we just finish it up. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. <laughs> Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Um, our iftar is ready. It's looking sumptuous. What do you think? It looks amazing. I can't wait to have a taste of it. Yeah, inshallah. We're going to like have we are going to have a very lovely iftar. I just also want to make finishing touches to this. I mean, you know, I'm an artist, so obviously I have a treat for you. You're going to be seeing the food art that I get up to when I'm not in front of the TV hosting for you. If you are looking to engage in your kids during Ramadan, or you also even want to dazzle your guests, this is something that you can do for them. Looks nice. Well done. I created a lantern with a wedu and begiri and the stew, you know, just to put some razzle dazzle with the stew. And this is just to um, to symbolize, you know, the lantern we carry for Tarawi, especially during the Lato Kodere, when we are like outdoors most of the time, we need to illuminate the area that we are worshiping in. So this is my treat from you guys as Hanifa, the visual artist as well. We're ending this episode with not one, but two beauties, Seafood Abula and My Food Art. And remember that with Maggie, everyone is welcome to the Iftar. Be sure to follow our conversation across all our social media platforms. Masalam. Salam. <laughs> Let's see, we carry our food. Up. Oops. Yeah, you're matching there. Your, your own food is even matching your clothes. Because right. of the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yansu.